एवरीवन वेलकम टू रूट टू मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस इंटरेस्टिंग ओलम्पेड क्वेश्चन सो द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज देयर इंटीजर्स ए बी सी ईच ग्रेटर देन वन सच दैट ए थ्रूट अंडर एन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ बी थ्रूट अंडर एन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ सी थ्रूट अंडर एन इक्वल्स टू थर्टी सिक्स रूट ऑफ एन टू द पावर ट्वेंटी फाइव फॉर ऑल एन नॉट इक्वल्स टू वन एंड we are asked to find the value of b so without any delay let's start the solution first we have given a b c are integers which are greater than 1 and n is not equals to 1 and we have given a th root under n multiplied with b th root under n multiplied with c th root under n equals to thirty sixth root of n to the power twenty five. So we know an exponential rule that is, nth root of a can be written as a to the power one by n. So by applying this exponential rule, we can write root a th root n multiplied with b th root under n multiplied with n to the power one by c. This equals to n to the power twenty five whole to the power root thirty six can be written as one by thirty six. This implies this. So here we have n to the power one. Here we will apply exponential product rule that is a to the power m multiplied with a to the power n is equals to a to the power m plus n. Okay. So here we can write a th root of n multiplied with b th root of n one plus one by c equals to n to the power twenty five by thirty six because we know that a to the power m multiplied with n is equals to a to the power m n. Okay, now this implies is root a of n multiplied with n to the power c plus one by c whole to the power one by b. Equals to n to the power twenty five by thirty six. This implies is root a of n multiplied with here we have n to the power c plus one divided by b c equals to n to the power twenty five by thirty six. Again, this implies is we have n to the power here we have one. So we can write one plus c plus one divided by b c whole to the power one by a equals to n to the power twenty five by thirty six. So again, taking LCM, we have n to the power b c plus c plus one divided by a b c equals to n to the power twenty five by thirty six. Now here you can see that both the side. We have same basis that is n. So by comparing the equation using the logic of without loss of generality, we can write b c plus c plus one equals to twenty five. Let's take it as equation one and a b c equals to thirty six. Let's take it as equation two. So from equation one, we can write. Taking one to the left hand side and taking c common, we have c multiplied with b plus one equals to twenty four. Let's take it as equation three. Now by noticing equation two and three, we can say that b plus one must be factor into twenty four, while one less than the value of b must be factor into thirty six. Now by prime factorization, we can write twenty four can be written as two to the power. Three multiplied with three, and thirty six can be written as two to the power two multiplied with three to the power two. Let's just assume b equals to three. Okay, so the value of b plus one will be four. So both three and four are factoring into thirty six and twenty four. So from here we can write b equals to three. C equals to six and A equals to two. This is our answer. 
I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.